Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got 1 John 1 7. If you walk in the light as he is in the light, you have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So, yeah. Okay, just trying to uh, walk in the light, be a better me um, with New Year's resolutions. It's eat better, work out more, you know, maybe lose a few pounds. I have till November to lose about 50. <laughs> I'd like to lose 50 by then, but if I could lose more, that'd be great. So I've had a lot going on. This weekend, I spent most of it playing, exploring, and I want to do all things. Um, so y'all know that I started making the pickles and the worms and I kind of liked it making the little toys and um, my boss is having her first grandbaby so all those things come together in one thing as I got a text the other day and I had been so busy I hadn't with work and Hitch had another seizure um, it didn't last as long because of his new medicine so that's a good good thing but I, I just had all these things on my mind okay and so I got a text and I had been gifted this bundle of patterns from Craftio I, I, I don't know um what I, I'd never even heard of it before okay but she gifted me this I don't know if y'all can see that but it's 99 different, and I'm not sure how to say that, Armegian, whatever, Megurium, crochet. Um, however you say it, basically it's toys. Okay, so yeah, I got that and I was looking through the 99. There is everything in there from cows to sheep to chickens to stingrays to oh my gosh so much so I looked through them and I found one and I was like oh my gosh I can make that for my boss's new grandbaby so it's an octopus and right now I've got okay let's see if I <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's an octopus okay so that just tells you right there all right i have the head half done now it's not stuffed i went to hobby lobby and i got stuffing in that but i have the head okay and then i have two of what they're calling the inner tentacles so i have two of these done and basically I was just working on this and that and doing, you know, but I have eight of these to make. So I've got two done. That means I've got six more to do. This is the inner tentacle. I don't know if you can see that very good. And of course these, let's see if I get this the right way. They're going to go like this and be stuffed. Um, Honestly, I don't know how much stuffing I will do because I really like, you know, them to move, but maybe just a little bit. So each of the, I have two of these done. I have six more to go and then I've got one, two, three, four, five of these. So I only have three more inners to go and then I put it all together. So, um, yeah. Well, and I have a, a little round thing that I have to do when I put the tentacles on. There's a piece that goes over it, and I haven't made that yet. But I think I've come quite along, uh, come quite far with that. And I did get a big thing of acrylic because I don't think that the wool is very good for toys, um, just because you can't wash them. So I did go and get some acrylic. I got the blue that you saw. I got the white that you saw. And then I got this just because it was pretty. Um, it has got 
and I know you probably can't see it, but it's got like a teal all the way to a blue to black, light blue. It's just awesome looking. I don't know. I think I know what I'm going to make with that. Um, there's a stingray, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I spent a lot of time this weekend on the computer looking at all those patterns. Probably too much. Okay. Um, a lot of my stuff this week was on the computer and I don't really know why. Uh, so the other thing that I had done, um, is I had put in an order from Hershizer's, Hershizer, however you say it. I don't know. I can't talk today. So, um, Hershner's. And I have not gotten anything but the four free downloads that I got with it. Okay. So I had ordered a snail, some puppies, a chicken, and a snowman that were free downloads. Um, and that's before I was gifted the 99. Okay. And then I also had ordered some kits. And these kits they're called pudgies i just kind of like the looks of them i got a bird a bee a cow a rabbit a pig an octopus which is what i was going to do for the dog and then i got one that's not a pudgy but it's called the little friend lamb and so i ordered these crochet kits and they're awfully cute i don't know if you guys can see those i hate holding my phone up to the camera um so I did this oh knowing Becky was gonna have a baby I did this right after Christmas I want to say like the 24th 25th I'm not sure no I didn't do I did it after Christmas so probably 26th 27th and uh, I still have not received them um I got a thing that led me to the downloads for the free ones and then it just said your order is complete so I have emailed them and we will see what they say because there were other paid items I got the free ones that's great they took my money now I want my stuff <laughs> okay so I am getting into those toys and I am loving it and if I have a whole collection of them that's great the pudgies, if they work up as fast. Now, the octopus was gotten so that, I don't know why, I just think this little boy is going to like octopus. I don't know. So, uh, but the others I was going to make for the people at work at Christmas. Um, I was going to rotate between them. I bought some very specific ones for specific people, and then I was like, but I can reuse the pattern. So, <coughs> Oh, excuse me. My sinuses are draining. It's raining again. Um, so I did that and I'm looking to see where it's at. Okay. I have yet to receive my order. Um, I spent a lot of time Saturday morning deciding on what this and that. And, uh, then Saturday morning I went to Hobby Lobby, picked up the yarn, um, got felt by the yard because that was for another project. Um, so at work, we always do the big Valentine's giveaway and I showed you all my box last time. Well, this time, and I have everything in here that I need. <laughs> it's like, I have all this stuff. Um, this time I have decided I'm going to make these. Okay, so they're just little felt bags and I'm gonna put their initial on them. And I'm put them in candy and I haven't decided if I'm going to take some ribbon and tie them or not, but I may or may not. I don't know. These are made of just felt by the yard. Um, and then I'm, I'm practicing my embroidery. So, um, I don't have all the names of everyone that will be participating yet, but there are some that I know will be participating. And so some have come out perfect. Um, 
this one I don't like. I use that sticky stuff, adhesive stuff, to put um, the stabilizer, the water soluble stabilizer over. Well, it left a sticky residue. Don't like it, but I'm still going to use it, okay? It is what it is. It will eventually wear off, I'm sure. Um, I made this one. This is a T for Tiffany. Um, she's the one that I go skating with and we went to Willow Rock with. And so then, let me see here. I made the B and you can see there is a misalignment on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you know what? It's good enough. I'm going to use it. I just am. Okay. So, um, I've got her front. I haven't put the bag together yet. Then I played with this one and you can see I had an issue right down here. Oops, right here. Uh, this one's just going to be a practice one. It also misaligned here and, but the second try and I got it perfect. And so, yeah, there are some, that, of course I won't use. And then I think the B, if I have time, I think I'll do just fine. Okay. Um, so I've been practicing and I have my little things cut and there's normally, here is a K that I did. And if you look, there's a oops down here. I don't know if I'll redo it just because I don't know how to redo, like if there's a way to just do that part or if I have to overdo the whole thing. And once I take it up, getting the alignment perfect is hard. So, um, yeah, that's not going to happen. So I've done a few, um, I've got to do the ones that I know are going to do the Valentine uh, exchange. I'm going to make their bags and I just cut them in squares. Uh, so I'm going to do the ones that I know are going to do it and I will get those made. Uh, and then I played um, making my own bag. Now it's just for me. So, and I think it looks pretty cute, um, but I made the bag of felt. It's just a little felt bag. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. Now I played and I put more than one design on the front and it has to have my name on it. So I did that and the name, I don't know if it's showing up, but it's glittery. I just played a little bit with the glittery thread and I did not use stabilizer on the back of this. I did on these because I plan on giving them as gifts. Okay. So all of these have tear away stabilizer on them. <laughs> Some still have it on there. Um, let's see. Missed a spot. So yeah, I have the tear away stabilizer on there, which I guess it doesn't matter because it's got an A. Uh, it's got a spot on it. But anyway, um, but I used tear away, loaded those. This I did not use any stabilizer on just because I was playing, didn't know what it was going to do. And this was not made into a bag until after I did this. So one of the little paw prints down here, um, when you set it down, it kind of flops and you can't really see the very bottom one just because the way it sets, see, but that's okay. That's okay. You can carry it. You can. So I did these little things. Then I tried to put like a fancy trim across the top. I ended up ripping it out, except for back here on the back. And the issue is that it starts out really good right here. And then once it gets to the thicker part that where the handles are, it can't go over that. So, um, yeah, that's just too thick. So, uh, I'm leaving it. I'm not ripping it out and stuff. I don't care. I just made it. It was for fun. And so, um, but yeah, I played on those and I'm going to get my list, which is at the office. Um, and with that list, I'm going to, uh, do everybody that I know is going to do the Valentine exchange. So anyway, 
Um, and then I was reading, I don't like this, how much waste this is. Do you see this? This is the size of my boot. So I was reading online <laughs> and literally people were saying that they use that stick stuff, uh, the spray adhesive, the 505 spray adhesive to just put another piece of tear away over the hole in the center. So I literally have been reusing and this one has to come off. Um, but I am reusing the same tear away, but putting a new piece over the top so that I don't have all this waste. Now I've got just this much waste and not this much waste. Um, I was actually going to see if I could use this piece to go over so that I didn't waste all of it. Should work, but I haven't cut it and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm learning not to waste. And see this one will do two more and that way but you have to use the spray adhesive to adhere to it and eventually they said that one will get weak and you just replace it and you know you know you've gotten your uh most out of it so yeah but like i said with the felt i didn't really use the stabilizer on the bag so i was happy with the way it came out i really was um I know it sounds silly, but I, it was just something to play on. Um, the name was just getting it across. So then I got, um, with the bag turning out okay, and I knew I wasn't going to do. I, uh, so my boss's son also works at the bank, and he's having his first baby, and that means her first grandbaby. She is my direct boss. And so I thought, I'm going to make a little onesie that says banker in training. Now. I had played with all of this before I started because I really wanted this to turn out right. But then I had some other issues. And so this just cost me a couple of dollars. So I'm not real worried about it. I am going to keep it to practice on. But I don't know what went wrong. But there is stabilizer on the back. And it's a jersey stretchy material. And it literally made a hole it snagged right there and made a hole and then the r didn't finish so i got that far and i was like mm, yeah we're gonna have to try this so i saved this one the part that i thought i'd have trouble with i didn't really um and that's the you have to float it the first thing is is i got it too far down um i had watched some things and they said place it this has to go way up at the top. Um, but I think if I float it, I can drop it down a little bit so that banker comes across here and it's going to say banker in training. So I'm going to practice several times on this. It's just going to be a little blue onesie. I've got the whole back to practice on. And they said that these jersey type knits are the hardest. Of course, I didn't look at it. I just, you know, until it messed up. I didn't realize it was the hardest, and so, yeah, easiest right to the hardest. No intermediate, no, let's see what we can do, you know, with a little bit harder fabric or whatever. No, just from one extreme to the next. Super easy, super hard. I got it. No. <laughs> anyway, so I have all of that going on, and I have been playing, and I, I took cleaned up the house and all of that stuff and did a good cleaning of like I said I was on the computer a lot um doing trying to organize some downloads that I had gotten for the embroidery machine and then those 99 um crochet patterns and then I had the four downloads for her so I was trying to organize them so I'd have crochet patterns in one folder and embroidery in another uh we'll see how that goes the other thing that I am looking at doing and I don't know that this is I have a picture and I don't know if I downloaded it or not um there is a picture of Macy and RJ that I just fell in love with and I think it would be a beautiful black and white if we lose all the background um i just want it to be them 
me see if I downloaded that. But anyway, she is looking up at him. She's got her arms around his neck and she's looking up at him and just, and of course now I'm not going to find it at all. Um, I should have found it beforehand, but they say that there's services out there that can digitize and I'm just not, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm looking to see if it's on her. There it is. All right. It is this picture right here. They were actually just in a parking lot. Um, it's the Veterans Wall of Honor. I don't even know what they were doing or who took the picture, but it's an amazing picture. And I am definitely going to see if I can get that put into black and white and grayscale, however you want to say it. I don't know how it'll turn out. I need to talk to somebody and just see, but it's an amazing picture of them. So <clears throat> hopefully uh, we can um, get it digitized and maybe get it on something. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. So anyway, um, I had all those things going on on the computer and I spent more time on the computer than I would have liked, but I did get some time to play with the machine. I got the house cleaned up, um, working on the octopus and then those little pudgies, I think will work up super quick and I want to try them next, but yeah, waiting on my order. So I will try maybe calling them at lunch today because all I got back from my email was, yeah, we got your email. Here's a question and answer thing. Hope that helps. You know, somebody will be, um, he says, thank you for your email. Customer service representative will review your email message in the order it was received and respond to you to your email as quickly as possible. Please note you can always find information at blah, blah, blah. Please do not reply to this email, but direct all inquiries to customerserviceedge.com. Also, please add that to your email address book to ensure our replies reach your inbox without delay. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it is what it is. And... No, I have not gotten any reply from them. I did that Saturday. Um, this is Monday, and we shall see. Uh, I probably will end up calling them and seeing if there's, because it said when your order's sent, you should get a tracking number email. Well, I didn't get an, a thing. I got a, your order had, status has changed, and it had the four downloads, and so... Oh, and I almost forgot. I put in a thread order. Um, let me see. And it shipped. I don't know when it's supposed to be here, but uh, let me see here. I got um, black, white, brown, navy, red, blue turquoise, and parakeet. They were all of the... Uh, and they're 1,100 yards up thread. So for the embroidery machine. And yes, I am being particular about the thread that I put in the embroidery machine to embroider with. Um, I haven't read an, up enough on what thread to use for sewing on this machine. Uh, I may end up using, of course, my serger stuff. The one thing that I am not really interested in, because they're both brothers, they're both made in the same style, I don't think my serger thread would hurt that, my embroidery machine, when I'm sewing straight stitches. But we shall read up on it before I decide to try that. I don't know. But anyway, I've got my crochet order coming, I've got my thread order coming, and I've just been playing. So... And trying to organize, just so you know. I did get on the computer, and but I hate taking time to do that. But I had them just 
here and there. And so I made one folder in which all of my crochet patterns that are on the computer into that one. And then I made, got all of my um, patterns uh, that I have on a stick. I have it on a USB stick, but I also still have it on the computer. So I don't know why I'm keeping both other than I'm scared that USB stick goes out. I won't have them again or my computer goes out. I won't have it. I don't know. Anyway, so I am just into the rambling phase. I'm just excited about all things. Want to move forward and hopefully I'll have the octopus done and uh, hopefully I'll have those little pudgies. I, I think they're cute and I think they will work up quick and I don't they're only like this big so um i should be able to make a ton of them for easy gifts and yeah i'm really liking it but as new year new me i gotta try all things no <laughs> all right you guys you have a great day um i hope that you have a very blessed week hang in there and i'll see you next week thanks for watching bye